Hello guys, today I've got a product from Kemimoto. It's a uh, UTV bar clamp gun mount. And uh, so we're gonna open it up here. You have two Allen keys. And then you have your first mount. Which it comes, there's your bar mount and then here's your, where you'll set your gun or whatever and then you'll buckle that over. But we'll get to the install. And then you have another one in the bottom here. Remember to go to kemimoto.com and uh, use the code Ryan Off Road, no spaces, and you'll get 10% off. Uh... Okay, guys, with the big Allen key that they give you, um, we're gonna separate the mount itself from the bar mount. So you're just gonna put that on there, give her a good tug, and then you can just back her all the way off. It's got a lock washer on there. So you just back these apart make the install a little bit easier and then we're going to grab the smaller of the two allen keys it gives you and then we can separate the uh, bar mount itself get that on there loosen that off and then you can probably grab it with this end give it a twist separate these two and then we'll move over to the razor and throw this on there so take one of your mounts and two of the smaller screws that we pulled off and then you're just going to install these on your bar mount wherever you'd like i'm going to go on these back bars on my xp turbo because i'd want the gun here and i don't have any room up there or anything like that so we're going to go right here go okay guys so now we're going to take the longer bolt and the mount run the bolt through into this nut that's welded on the back side of the clamp and we're not going to tighten it completely yet because you're going to want to set your gun in there and align it before you tighten it completely. Okay guys, so now that we've got the gun in place, we're just going to tighten these up a little bit because you have your place set. Tighten that one. Just give her a quick uh, hello righty tighty. Okay guys, so you can also throw uh, items like a shovel in here and you're just gonna tie it down same way, but you could throw, like I said, this in there, pack something in there so that this puts pressure on that to keep it from rattling around. Alrighty guys, so the install is complete on these 1.75 adjustable um, gun mount bar rack deals. So we've got these rubber things that uh, hold it in there really well. See, it's tight on the last one. They're kind of tight to get off, which is good. You don't want them slipping off, right? And this thing is sturdy in there. Now, I don't know uh, if you are going to be wanting to actually put yours like this, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes because I don't have anywhere else on this thing. Like, I can't mount them here because of my stereo. See what conflicts, so I put them back here. But as you can see, very nice install on these. Holds it in there super tight. Um... If you're looking of a way to just carry your gun, you know, I obviously would make sure you have a waterproof stock and barrel and make sure your scope is covered and everything if you're going to be transporting it like this. But also you could transport it like this if you're just going out in a dry field. Maybe you could put one on each bar on a 1000 or the 900, of course, <clears throat> would work along this pillar or whichever one really it fits. But this is just to give you a good idea of what these look like installed. Very nice, clean install. They're very tight. So you just take that off, take this off. Then you just give her a wiggle, comes right out. So let's set that to the side. Yeah, so we've got these adjusted, which are super adjustable with this because this is pivots. As you can see there too, got it all tightened up. Very sturdy on there, and I don't even have them super, super tight yet. But, uh, so yeah, you basically keep this hardware loose and this hardware loose. Tighten this one first. Sort of, like, put the gun in here. Tighten this one, your main bar clamp first, and then put your gun or whatever you're transporting in these holders. Um, in there first, get your angle right. Because, see, I have them angled this way up a bit, because then it won't ride on down here and uh yeah this uh foam they've got in here provides a, like a non-scuff surface for your gun or whatever you want to put in there 
And then you have these awesome, uh, really strong rubber clamps that just pull and they go right on like that, which is a really good tight fit over the top if you don't have something that's bigger hanging over like this. Okay, perfect guys. Remember to use uh, the code Ryan off road on chemimoto.com and uh, get yourself a set of these if you're looking to transport your gun and your razor. Um, you could also modify one to uh, maybe grab this bar honestly right here and then have it right here or maybe right here would be thick enough. You might have to just shim it underneath to get it around here and then you could honestly just uh, stand your gun up in there like like so <sighs> like you could stand it up like this and uh, that would work too you could use both mounts like that honestly and that would be sturdy enough I'd trust it because it won't move this way a whole lot if you want to keep them inside maybe you have a cab and you're going in the winter but yeah guys right on thank you for checking out the video and uh, if you liked it please like and subscribe and uh, we'll be doing some more videos thank you What's up guys? So today we're here again on the Kemimoto website, kemimoto.com. I'll put the link down in the description for these UTV gun holder adjustable gun mount compatible with inch and three quarter, inch and seven eighths, and two inch diameter roll bars, which anything in between there even, it will fit. You can modify these little rubber uh, inserts to fit whichever size bar. I put them on an inch and three quarter on the back bar on an XP Turbo. And I don't have the shock uh, reservoir on the rear bar, so mine worked right back here. But as you can see, they have them up here. This will work fine as well. And uh, there's just a little overview of them, your sizing and whatnot. Uh, it's two inch outside of the rubber clamp, so you'll just run maybe a little bit of weather stripping if you have a two inch bar. They are $40. Remember to use that code Ryan Off Road, no spaces, and you'll get 10% off that. A really good buy if you're looking to bring your rifle with you or they work even maybe a fishing rod in there or a shovel anything like that so they come with the two gun holder with the rubber inserts and two allen keys to install this nut and then the two or this screw and then the two other screws for the bar mount itself and uh yeah i'll put this link in the description check it out